But first, we head over the Kaimines. Destination, Holden Nationals, Mount Monganui. Hi, my name is Neroli Clark, and I'm the president of the Coastal BOP Holden Club. Welcome to the 9th New Zealand Holden Nationals held here in Mount Maunganui. This is a um, biannual event um, held once every four years in the, North Island, in the North Island. It's just an overview really of um, a show of people's cars and what people's interpretations of their car are by way of modifications. Um, also a chance for people to see the original cars, um, how they were right back at the very, very first one, the 48215, right through to the almost the latest one here today. Um, yeah, just people's interpretation. People love their Holdens, chance to showcase them and let people have a little look. And they came from all over the country, as far down as Southland and as far north as Auckland. If you're affiliated to the NZ Holden Federation, you get the invite. My name's Gary Edwards. It's a 1969 GTS 350 Monaro. It was painted back in 96 as a bare metal respray. Then uh, when I got it, I um, put the 350 in it. I bought it as a um, it was a 327, it was binned as a 350, uh, but someone had stuck a 327 in it, so I put it back to the 350. It's got a 10 volt diff in it. Transmission's all been done up by Marshalls and Hamilton. And um, I put a whole new upholstery kit and um, carpets through it from Harrison Spears in Brisbane. Oh yeah, wrapped with it. Still a bit more to do, but yeah, finances and time is the big thing. Hi, my name's Hugh, um, President of the Holden Club Hawks Bay. This is my 1973 LJ Tirana. Um, I've had it for about six years. Um, repainted it myself, or had it repainted. And um, the interior is all original, apart from new carpets. And we just want to keep the cars clean and tidy. Hugh has been turning up since 93. Oh, progressed massively, massively. The original, um, Nationals was held in Paraparam in 1991 and I think there was around about 34, 35 Holdens in it. Early model Holdens. No Commodores or anything like that. They were what I call a real Holden. <laughs> Visitor numbers are obviously up, which is great. Um, but yeah, um, and, and just the culture has changed. We're sort of moving into now a little bit more lighting and people using lighting, people using sound. Um, a little bit of imagination, a bit of ear brushing, it's great, fantastic. Covers everybody, caters for everybody, and, and we'll make some models. It sure is. A quick scan over the complex and you see it all. Original early models, right up to almost current shapes. And lots of modified examples mixed in for good measure. And a few rarities. This is my 996 Holden uh, HSV GDSR, of which 85 in total were built throughout uh, Australia and New Zealand of which nine only came to New Zealand. It's travelled 14,000 k's now, so it's a very low mileage car for its age, and certainly is in very good condition. Certainly it's important to keep these cars as near as original as possible to uh, keep the value up. I have ever changed the wheels on it. The original wheels just don't really do it for myself. So I've changed the wheels, which I think uh, improve the look of the car. Obviously still have the original wheels available because they are part of the car, so, uh, and original tyres for that matter as well. I've been a, a, a pretty, uh, a strong supporter of the HSV brand in, in total. Uh, I've owned about 27 HSVs um, since about 1996, so yes, my accountant keeps telling me, Ray, you've got to stop buying these cars. But yeah, there's a true passion there. Uh, although a lot, of, a lot of it's been brought about by not only the brand of the car, but also the people you meet involved in the owners club as well. This is my GTS Minari HQ. Bought it just over a year ago. Done a rebuild on the motor. Not completely fresh uh, from the heads upwards, yes. Um, it's got TRW pistons. It's got um, rectangular port heads, uh, port and polished. All comp gear in there, running comp, lifters, cam. It's got a Victor Genio R manifold, 850 Demon double pumper. Had it on the dyno Tuesday. He couldn't dyno, just went straight over the top of his machine, so. Dino, Dino was too small for it. I actually wanted a big blast sticking out of it. Now, I still want the big blast sticking out of it, but this was a really unexpected build. It um, blew a head gasket, and then we found out the heads were no good for it. They're only good for a 396, so we had to buy new heads, and that's where the build started for them. And 
Pockets are empty. <laughs> but having a tough GTS in your shed makes up for a whole lot. Ecstatic, yeah. It's just bloody brilliant. Yeah. Sun's just over the moon, wife's over the moon, and they haven't even driven it yet. And we'll be back for a second serving of Holden later in the show.